Tell me a little bit more about your story as a painter. Mm. I started my career as a painter after a car accident. I suffered June the 20th, 2000. I broke my right hand, right foot and my head. I had been a left-handed person all my life, but after a period of confusion I started to use my right hand to paint. It was always moving by itself. The day after I finished my uh, doctoral degree in the year 2003, I decided to spend all the time painting. For more than six months I was just painting. Of course I had to come back to work as a regular professor at the university to produce income. I'm still fighting to find time to paint. What's your favorite media for your painting? Mm, I have an amazing connection with water, so I, ha I love watercolors, but I'm now working a lot with acrylics because I love the brilliant colors and tonalities we can get from the media, from this media. In the future, uh, in a studio, I will try to work with oil. Generally, how do you use the color wheel? Um, basically, every color is present in each of my paintings, but depending on the day, and I have a special feeling for some tonalities. I know there is a relationship between colors and harmonies. I love to use complementary colors and triadic, but basically everything comes spontaneously. At the end of every painting creation I compare with the color wheel and I discover 100% color relationship and harmonies. What uh, are your inspirations and influences? Mm, God, uh, of course God. Quantum physics, Spaniards, French and Italian painters, nature, people, people around me. Uh, I feel energy all the time. Uh, I prefer to avoid any kind of negativity, so sometimes I have to isolate. Who is your muse? Mm, when I'm painting, my muse is Venus. When I'm writing, is Aphrodite. Right now, my muses are five beautiful ladies and that I'm painting. Uh, some of them are famous, but some of them are not famous, but that's not, that's no difference, uh, I have no difference for that. Uh, I paint all of them with all my heart. Can you make any kind of relation between your paintings and the music you listen to? Uh, yeah, I love music. I like, uh, I like to listen to YouTube, Coldplay, Maroon 5 and Train, like almost all the, the actual generation. Uh, when I'm painting some, something from one country in particular, I like to listen to that music. From the, I love to, to listen to the music from the different cities or from the countries. How do you see your future as a painter? Mm. Well, I, I always live my present. After my car accident, I learned to live only in the present time. My future as a painter is my present and the energy around my people and myself. How do you consider your heart? Mm. My art is my soul, my music the way I find to be myself. Uh, when I cannot express something with words, then I use my hands. What's the transmodernism? Well, the transmodernism is the new way to see the world. We perceive the world with different eyes. We know them uh, as cultural creatives. Um, so cultural creatives and transmodernists are the same. We want a better world, and at least uh, I try to do it. Uh, I think we are tired of uh, interpretations and labels. Uh, we want and we need the world to be more spiritual. How do you work with the VRT crew? Ah, it's not easy because some of them are in Venezuela. Some of the painters they live in Venezuela. Uh, we need more coordination. Every artist is different with different dreams, but we try to work together with this uh, with our own dream. Which one of your paintings do you prefer? Well, I don't have any preference because I never put any label to my art or to anything. I try to avoid labels. When somebody says that I'm improving, I ask myself, improving what? Maybe my first paintings are more connected with God or the universe. Can you tell me more about these particular paintings? Uh, about this painting? Uh, well, yes. Uh, this painting can be appreciated from different perspectives, like that, or uh, like that, too. Um, so, 
in reality all my paintings are they are like this one but I think in this particular one maybe it's easier to detect uh, the different perfe perspectives and faces or aspect of the painting now American art versus European art what do you uh, think about that? Well, Europeans are extremely creative and some famous painters know ancient secrets Americans, we, are, we have a special connection with our lands but I told you that I don't, I don't like stereotypes and labels so all of us we represent our realities and the dimensions we perceive so Which painter do you like the most? I love Picasso, Van Gogh, Velázquez, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo I appreciate the art of every human being for me Picasso changed everything he was able to detect another dimensions I love that, I really love that. 